breaking news. Trump in the UK, let's work together, we're special friends, says May. Theresa May drew on the spirit of Churchill to hail the closest relationship between the UK and US yet, as she hosted a lavish dinner for Donald Trump at Sir Winston's birthplace last night. The Prime Minister told the US President and British and American business leaders at the Black Tie event at Blenheim Palace of her hopes for a new trade deal between the two nations. Mrs May declared that in her view the US and the UK are not just the closest of allies but the dearest of friends. Hailing hopes of a future trade deal once Britain is free of the EU, she said that Brexit is an opportunity to tear down the bureaucratic barriers that frustrate business leaders on both sides of the Atlantic. Mrs May added, and it's an opportunity to shape the future of the world through cooperation in advanced technology, such as artificial intelligence. She said, Mr President, Sir Winston Churchill once said that to have the United States at our side was, to me, the greatest joy. The spirit of friendship and cooperation between our countries, our leaders and our people, that most special of relationships, has a long and proud history. Now, for the benefit of all our people, let us work together to build a more prosperous future. The Oxfordshire location was chosen because of its historic links with the Churchill family and Sir Winston, who was son of a British father and an American mother. The dinner was held on the first night of Mr. Trump's first formal visit to Britain as U.S. President. He arrived ten minutes late with First Lady Melania, flying in from London by helicopter then sweeping into the palace courtyard in the armored presidential limousine nicknamed the Beast. The couple were greeted by Mrs. May, dressed in an ankle-length red gown split at the thigh and red high-heeled shoes, and her husband Philip. The Prime Minister was seen to be wearing a diabetes monitoring patch on the back of her left arm as she reached out to shake hands with the U.S. President. Mrs. May, who was diagnosed with the disease five years ago, uses the device to monitor her blood sugar and warn when she needs to inject herself with life-saving insulin. Mrs. Trump wore a floor-length yellow ball gown for the dinner. The President's arrival was marked by a military ceremony, with bandsmen of the Scots, Irish and Welsh guards playing the Liberty Fanfare, Amazing Grace and the U.S. National Emblem March. Mrs. May was joined at Blenheim by ministers including Chancellor Philip Hammond, New Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt, her effective deputy David Lidington, Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson, Trade Secretary Liam Fox, Business Secretary Greg Clark and Transport Secretary Chris Grayling. Boris Johnson lost his seat at the table by resigning as Foreign Secretary on Monday in protest at Mrs. May's Brexit policy, although Mr. Trump has said he might try to speak to him during his visit. The Countess of Wessex's orchestra played British and American hits of the 20th century during dinner. Leaders of the financial services, travel, creative, food, engineering, technology, infrastructure, Pharmaceutical and defense sectors were among around 100 guests who dined on Scottish salmon, English Hereford beef fillet and strawberries with clotted cream ice cream. Mr. Trump, whose mother was Scottish, was piped out by the Royal Regiment of Scotland as he and Melania left to spend the night at the U.S. Ambassador's residence in London's Regent's Park. Outside the palace gates, several hundred protesters waved banners and placards reading Dump Trump and Not Welcome Here. His visit to the UK is being marked by widespread protests, 